Hello, it's me, Arisa Gaming. I'm back. We are continuing the Folia Fun Times, the Arboreal Airheads, the breathtaking bozos. Still not 100% sure what this series is going to be called. I think Arboreal Airheads is the is the top contender at the moment. Hello, Charmich. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so, yes, we are going to be doing some oxygen included. Let me uh, jump on over. So <laughs> I was watching uh, I was watching Willow Rainey today and uh, they gave me an excellent idea. And I'll show you. I've installed a new mod. It's not a big mod, but uh, I think it's worth doing. <laughs> we, we've got an imposter. We've got an imposter among us. We've got, we've got an Amorbus. So this Amorbus, let's, let's unpause it for a little bit. So everyone's just gotten vacillated. vacillated. Uh, this is an Amorbus. When the imposter is sus, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. Look, he's got like a little crewmate like outfit. He's a red one. Morbs are attracted to unhygienic conditions and frequently expressed, um, excrete bursts of polluted oxygen. And then if we actually go in the database, it says a lot. So, okay, hold on, hold on. The Morb is a versatile scavenger capable of breaking down and consuming dead matter. Blah, 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 blah. This is all the normal stuff. Uh, entries. Three. Crewmate, Amorbus, and Imposter. So, the crewmate is a best friend. Um, ideal temperatures. Minus 23 to 2120 degrees C. I am not sure where this comes from. And then this guy, when the imposter is sus. Yep. This is a sussy backer. Yep, same temperature range. Drops drops 9,600 calories of meat. Do regular morbs drop that much meat? I didn't notice that. Anyways, so <laughs> that's the mod we installed. And maybe we're going to produce a few more mod. Um, maybe we're going to produce a few more morbs. I don't know. It's It's certainly possible. Yes, go have some dinner. Let's actually get some music playing. There we go. It is now night time. Hello, Sergeant Imlis. Hope you're doing well. So, what are the goals for today? So, we have a little bit of coal from mining the jungle biome. But I'm not going to go super into hatches. I don't think I'm actually going to bother setting up coal generators. But I think what I am going to do... I think what I am going to do is I'm going to take this hydrogen vent... And we're going to dig it out over here. And I think what we'll do is we'll dig through the chlorine. And we'll let the... Yeah, I'm just going to come in here. Forget all of this. We're going to dig in through the chlorine. And we're going to let the hydrogen out here. That will all rise to the top. And then we'll start digging in here. Everything else in here can eventually melt from the hot hydrogen. Uh, hopefully the abyssalite is pretty pretty safe and sound over here. But that's what we're going to do, and then we're, gonna, we're just going to run some hydrogen generators off of this. And maybe we'll get super sustainable, because I haven't done that in a while. But yes, um, there is something else to do, which is actually setting up the big axis shaft as well. Because I think I, think I know how I'm going to plan this base out now. I think this door is the center of where the shaft is going to be. So if I just draw it out for you... I'll admit, I did kind of plan this in advance because I wanted to avoid having a situation where, like last time on the on the last run, we didn't actually have a, a vertical column where we could just let dupes go up and down through the whole map. This map, we can do it. It's centered on that door. So let's not actually do any of that. But that's where the column is going to go. So it runs past the school steam vent. It runs past the thermo nullifier. Runs past the hydrogen vent. The hydrogen vent is going to be in our base. Uh, but that's fine because we can seal it off and have this bit be atmosphere only as well. Um, so what I can do is I can plan the rooms around that. Because we're going to have doors here. Yeah, so this will be a five block for the liquid locks, etc. For people getting in and out. And then I think we'll have... How many is that? Hold on. Help if I enable the UI. So that's 11. So that's good. Then we'd have another 5, which would be the interior exit shaft. Including doors. And then we'd have 23, which would be our main sort of room, um, our room layout. 
Then we'd have another five. And then we'd have 24. Yeah, and there's room with neutronium for that 24 and some insulation. So that's what we're going to do. So, yeah, let's just double check. So this is the 24, this is the five. So this is where this room will end and the axis shaft will go through here. So that's what I need to do. I'll put a door here just so that I remember that's where it's actually going to end. And then we'll build our base based on that sort of layout. Sorry, that probably didn't make a lot of sense at the moment. It will make sense in a bit. Um, imposters and crewmates are new subtypes of mobs that are part of the Twitch events. Also, if you have Aki's decor pack installed, there are two new mood lamps in the selector. Yeah, I haven't installed that one yet. I just wanted the mob. Um, we might add a few more mods as we go, but I'm probably going to do like one mod per stream extra. But we are going to start adding some more. I kind of like the idea of that lamp. <sighs> so let's see. I don't actually want you to dig this for now. I'll just keep that there as a reminder. And then we can leave this. So what we'll do. We want to make a liquid lock so we can get in here. So I think we just dig up these three and we start making a liquid lock. And what, oh, what, where are the actual base levels as well? Sorry. Because this is going to be one of our base levels. That is definitely going to be one of our base levels. So actually just leave that for now. So one, two, three, four. There. So let's make this three high for now. And then, and then we're back on track. Okay. Then one here as well. And this one is going to be temporary. So I think I'll just, yeah, I think I'll just do it over here. So build a ladder, go up here. Um, you can just dig this out of the top. That's fine. It's fine. One of them is a sitting Mogus. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I think we're going to make a morb generator at some point. Because I've never done that. This feels like a good excuse to do it. Um, you're not actually digging it into here, are you? Uh, I guess it's just polluted oxygen. I think that's fine. Yeah, you might as well let the... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's slime lung. There's slime lung. The imposter is sus. Uh, we need to seal this. Yeah, seal it with the chlorine and then don't come in here. Okay. <laughs> Good thing we spotted that. Right, just... Yeah, just tile this and then we won't worry about this at all. That could be a priority nine. <laughs> We're not getting slime lung this early in the run. It's not happening. Uh, and I like this as well, because it means the hydrogen vent actually lines up with the base levels. So... Yeah, we can, we can work that in somehow. Then you can dig that, that's all fine as well. What else have you got to do? You, you've cleared out this area a little bit. If you've run out of stuff to do, I'll give you more digging tasks. But let's speed up a little bit now. So we've got oxygen, we've got food. Um... We could do some more research, but to be honest, um, I just want to get this hydrogen online and working before it's too late. Now, this isn't too hot at the moment, so we probably could just pump this out now. But we need to put the liquid lock in first. We're not letting in any other gases. You didn't actually put that door in, did you? Yeah, that needs to go there. And then this is where we're actually going to have the, the main ladder. So again, this is just for me planning out what we're going to do later. Yeah, because the ranch is going to go here. Yeah, that should be fine. That's aluminium. That won't burst. So then this will be a 23 wide room, which means... 23 wide room, which means the doors will actually go here. 
and then there'll be another axis shaft up here, so we'll need to move everything. So this will be... This will be a bit... Yeah, this will be an 11 wide room over here. Yeah, yeah, and then the main shaft will go up here. Cool. Uh, you might as well dig this as well. We want all the materials. We want all the materials. We're going to use this fairly soon. For stuff and things. In fact, you can just remove this. Uh, it's nice to be on a new run again. The lack of lag. We're going to try hard to make sure that we're not going to lag out too much. We're going to have less dupes. We're going to try and make sure that gas is already clean. We've got a big CO2 cave over here. That's interesting. Right. Uh, I just put the liquid lock here. So let's see. Not like that. Like this. And then just dig this out. And then we'll just fill this with... I mean, this is going to be hot. We uh, we do actually have a little bit of oil. We have a little bit of oil up here by the teleporter for some reason. So let's actually sweep that up. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't send a dupe through the teleporter at the end of the stream. Um, we'll do that at the end of this stream so we can get the frozen guy next time. But let's get power here first. Let's get power here first. So in fact, actually remove this for now. We'll put this tile in later. We've got the pod. What have we got in the pod? We've got a mouth breather. We do have a mouth breather. Wow, okay, new dupe. So, Rowan, you have researching. That's good. Farming and rocketry. You have shriveled taste buds. You're not a very good dupe. I mean, I guess you've got all the interests, so you'll be a good you'll be a good pilot guy. You do want your pilots of researching, I guess. You want them to have operating as well for making data banks. Well, it's a fourth dupe. The only issue is if we pick you, we're 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 already going to start running out of oxygen. With um, going to start running out of oxygen with the oxyferns, so we're going to have to electrolyze some stuff. But. That can happen pretty quickly. We've got a polluted water vent, so I'm not worried about running out of water. Yeah, I think we take Rowan. Okay, so someone had a name. Someone definitely had a name. Uh, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Was it was it Charmich? Oh, uh, let's, let's actually check who picked rename something. So Charmich picked the fifth dude. Yeah. Neo redeemed something. Snowfox redeemed something, and they both got dupes. So Charmage, are you sure you want to be the fifth dupe? I think someone said they wanted to be the fourth dupe. I'd have to go back through the VOD and check. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make you the fourth dupe for now. And we'll make um, the other person the fifth dupe. So you can be Charmage. Charmage 0802. There we go. Right, print. There you go. Enjoy your nutrient bar. So let's see, what do you want as well? Uh, you are the non-beefsteak of the colony. Sorry, feels bad, man. You can have researching as well. And I guess farming. Yeah, you can do the farming stuff. And I'm probably actually just going to skill you up in farming before anything else. But I did say that everyone was going to get the digging hat. So you're going to get the digging hat first. And then you'll do the farming. We need all of the dupes to be wearing the same uniform. You know, for morale. Right, so... Yeah, let's do this. There's not a lot of oil over here. Hello, Sirtle. How you doing? Sirtle, were you... Did you want to be the fourth dupe? Because I couldn't remember who wanted to be the fourth dupe because they didn't redeem a command. But um, I just got a fourth dupe and I just named it Charmich because Charmich had the command. But I, it's not too late for me to swap. You want to be the fourth. 
Okay. Uh, forget that then. In that case, you are Sirtle. I'll tell you what. When the fifth dupe comes up, uh, and you're and if you're both around, I'll give you the choice if you want to swap. Because I realize I've kind of just said to Charmich that he could have a dupe and now I've changed it. So there you go. Sirtle, you are Rowan. You have researching and farming. So you're going to do all the farming tasks for now. Which is good because I need someone to actually remove all these sodding plants. And to actually look after the oxyferns. So that's good. Uh, you guys are idle now. Let's actually get some research done then. So what are we going to do? Definitely power. We've got some lead for making some quick stuff. So we'll do that first. Mm. Oh, we dug up the hatch. We dug up the hatch. I uh, forgot about that. Uh, I guess we definitely need a ration box now. I'm just going to put a ration box here for now. Do, 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 do. Here you go. You're allergic to pollen. Well, you're, well, thankfully your dupe isn't. And also, I'm not sure we're going to be doing bristle blossoms immediately. Uh, this needs to be a yellow alert because I don't want the hatch eating any of the food. So someone can come do that. I realized actually I want to put this tile here again because that causes it to build up the oil to build up on here. So I can be yellow alert as well. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. We've sealed in all of the slime lung. I can't believe this guy is already producing slime lung germs. I mean I can. He's a he's a morb and he's he's an imposter and he's sus. So that makes sense. But we're gonna have to deal with that. There is some chlorine in here. I'll probably just handle it with radiation. The no what's this texture? Oh, this is the Amorbus uh, mod. It just turns morbs into um, Amogus characters. <laughs> Among, Among Us characters. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, right, so anything edible goes in here. Priority 9. And I don't know, we'll probably put the Great Hall over here. We can start digging this stuff out as well. Uh, we'll leave this, because this, this is going to be the actual ladder shaft. I'm going to move all this ladder stuff later. So, I guess I can go there for now. Yeah, the aim is to get power and to actually get the base somewhat neatly laid out. But that's going to depend on us... Pushing all the gases around. Is even a toggle that makes some literal Amogus crewmates instead? Really? I'll have to have a look at that. But yeah, the plan is I'm going to get one sort of new minor mod every stream. Or we'll see, we'll see what we can find. Because I know there's a load of extra mods to look at. Now this, this floor, we can replace this with granite as well. Because this is going to be permanent. It's in the mod config. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. So we can put these tiles here as well, and then let me just start moving these over here. I do not want to stick with the water cooler for now. We did have some germs in here. These germs are actually dying, I believe, because there's relatively little germs in here now. So it's okay. Oxyferns are doing work. <laughs> the extra sussy option. I'm really glad I installed this mod. Very good idea. So is this all, where'd all the oil go? Is this all the oil? Yes, 100.1 kilograms. So that's definitely all the oil that was up here. Does this normally spawn with oil? Because I don't remember it doing that, but that's very powerful. You start with a little bit of lead from your uranium lump. You start with a little bit of oil and a teleporter. It's nice that you have just a little bit of stuff to get going and then you have to dig to find the rest. Oh, we need an extra bed. We need an extra bed for Sertor. He's gonna be sleeping rough. Uh, I guess we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least you've got a bathroom. And you'll need an extra mess table too. But I really need to make sure I don't get too many more dupes because, yeah, we need to... We'll need to get some electrolyzers online. But I'm not going to do that until we've... I mean, to be fair, the electrolyzer should be power neutral anyways, so that's something I could set up pretty quickly. But we, in this case, because we've got a polluted water vent, we would need to... We would need to sieve it, so that would take some power. 
So let's get power sword out first, and then we'll get a spawn up, and then we can have a more reasonable number of dupes. So this is eventually going to be removed. This is eventually where all the ladders are going to be. If you like sleeping on the ground, beds are, beds are not for you at all. Fair enough. Oh, actually, hold on. Do I have an extra things? I mean, I do, but these are temporary. I'm not going to use the skins for temporary buildings. Oh, that's the other thing. I actually unlocked some more... I actually unlocked some more blueprints. So we have, um, like, with the filament thing in the testing branch. I actually loaded the testing br branch and redeemed the filament. So all of my duplicates have now become special stuff. And I'll show you that in a minute when we unlock all the technologies. Well, not in a minute, but like over the next few streams. Right, yeah, grab the fruit. That's a good idea. Uh, let's move this over here and then we can, well, we'll leave this here for now, but we'll remove it soon. Who is actually doing this? I guess, I guess you have got other stuff to do. That's fine. Yeah, we need a better source of power than the snow fox just running on the thing. Oh, oh, I know what we need to do. We need to take Sertor and give him the operating stuff. You have four machinery. Did you start with machinery? Maybe you did. No, I think you just earned this from running on the wheel so much. Jesus Christ. Um, well, in that case, unfortunately, we're going to remove that for now. And then I'm actually just going to interrupt you both so that Sertor gets on the wheel and the Snow Fox has the research. <laughs> <laughs> Need to lose some weight. I'm I am currently in the process of losing some weight because uh, wedding in April. I need to make sure I fit in a suit, but it's actually going well. I'm already halfway there. I don't need to lose a lot. That's good. How's this looking? I guess the germ count is already changing now. I'm just gonna leave this turned off. Maybe we'll put it over here. I mean, we might as well make this a great haul now. Yeah, seal this up. The gas will stay sealed because of this. We can tile that. And then I'll make sure not to give you any more research because I want you to dump that oil. So then I can move the water cooler here. I can dig this. And then, furniture-wise, I'll just stick a plant in, I guess. Oh, we don't even have the tech for plants. Let's do that next. But I'm just going to get you the yellow alert this, because I need you to actually do this now. Grab the oil. And then we can actually... We can tile out the oxygen. And then have it just be hydrogen here. Yeah, there you go. That's done. So then remove this. So there we go. That's some oil. There is our vacuum. So now that's completely sealed. We'll leave this here and then we can just tile the oxygen and then it will just be hydrogen here. And we should be fine. And then we can analyze this. Definitely worth analyzing this. But we'll keep on speed 2 for a little bit. So let's see. Uh, we're going to want two tiles. One here. And then one there. So we'll do that one first. Let's set everything to priority 8 again. That's fine. There you go. Advanced research. What are we actually researching? The batteries. You know what? Let's get the, let's get the Great Hall working first. Let's get the uh, furniture. Yeah, just do that first. That won't take very long. And then we can at least get this room up and running. Patch is all sad now. He's just in this little uh, bit here. I think I will keep the Great Hall here, and then we'll probably... We'll probably actually put the freezer here. So the other thing I want to do 
So let's see. What's the germ situation? The germs are here, but the chlorine is dying in the in the the chlorine is causing the slime lung to die pretty quickly. So I think what I want to do is I actually want to open this up. We want to let the water out down here to refill the tank. So let's just dig this. The chlorine should stay up here. Oh, actually, I think the oxygen will flow up here, won't it? Yeah, that's not what we want. Hmm. Maybe we just stick a pump in here as well. But we can't actually go in here because of the slime lung. Hmm, what a dilemma. The pip is just permanently rummaging the storage. Oh, this one. Oh. Uh. Do we need this anymore? I don't think we do. There's just algae in there. We can, we can turn off the seeds as well. We plant all those seeds. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Stop doing the storage. Thank you for letting me know. We'll leave that there in case we need to do anything with that. This can get tiled. Pip can get trapped with the hot hydrogen. This isn't actually that hot yet. So I need to think about how I'm going to get this water out of here safely. I think the answer is actually probably going to be to dig in here. Yeah, we'll dig in here and just let the water flow out this way. I think that makes sense. Yeah, and then if you just remove this, that should be fine. Okay. Okay, that's done. So now it should just be hydrogen in here, and now you can just remove all of this. And we won't dig up any bleach stone. And then you can actually analyze this geyser. Did we analyze this yet? No, because you need to be standing here. We can actually dig this out, so let's do that as well. You can just dig these two, actually, can't you? Okay. Flower pot. Now, we've got a choice. <laughs> we've got a choice. We've got the red one, we've got the yellow one, we've got the blue... Uh, green one, apparently. Apparently, I have a lot of difficulty telling blue from green. Um, so we're going to put the red one in for now. Let's make another granite. The red one to go with the red Amogus. But um, no, I have a funny story. So I have a, I have a green hoodie that I wear occasionally. And I was convinced it was green. And then the partner the other day, um, this is a while ago, was like, I washed your blue hoodie or something. And I was like, what blue hoodie? I don't have a blue hoodie. And then she showed me the green hoodie. And I was just very confused. I was like, this is green. And she's like, no, it's blue. It's definitely blue. So then what I did is I got my phone. I got a color checking app on it that gave me like the uh, like the hex code for the color. So I took a photo of it. And it was technically more blue than green. And I was just devastated. So apparently that is my that is my color weakness. If I have one. I need to disable this as well. And we need to remove this. Now, something else that we're going to do a lot of on this run. We are going to make full use of Brackeen. Because we're going to be growing a lot of pincher peppers. With all the polluted water. So we're going to make a lot of Brackeen from that. And we're going to use it for transit tubes. We're going to use it for dupes. We're even going to use it for critters. I want to fully explore it. There you go. Hopefully no one got food poisoning. Uh, I also need to actually let some air out through here. So let's actually just... Uh, hmm, what am I going to do? I guess just put a door here for now. Yeah, let's just put some doors here for now and then we'll change this later. And then just get some air flowing. Uh, you can leave that. That's fine. That can go, that can become a tile actually. So then we need to plant a plant. This needs to be a myrth leaf because it's hot over here. That is fine. Note to self, uh, tile that chlorine. And dig that out. 
We got a shine bug. We got some Drekos. We got 60,000 calories worth of food left. We're going to have to start thinking about that at some point. We have so much dirt, it's very tempting to just do mealwoods for now. I think that's a pretty good plan. You did all the doors, that's good. Where are you going? What are you up to? You're storing the sleep wheat grain. Oh, uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. We don't have a freezer yet. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't worry about storing ingredients. Yeah, someone plant the plant. And then we can dig out of here. And then I think the plan will be... Yeah, just to dig through the chlorine. We don't actually mind letting the chlorine out into this room. Because that's all going to sink to the bottom. So I think that's actually the plan. Maybe. So I think let's go up here. And then we'll just climb up over here and then we'll just start digging this out. I'm not going to dig the bleach stone, but we are going to dig the chlorine. Because the plan is to make it so the hydrogen gets forced over here. Uh, or is there a better way we can do this? We might actually be able to do this without letting any chlorine in. What's actually the plan? I just need to get it cold. And this area over here is cold. I think we don't worry too much about the other gases. I think we just let it... I think we just let the hydrogen rise. I'll put the pump up high. Yeah, you're getting popped ear drums. Yeah, it's coming out pretty hot. Good job, Neo. Oxygen masks are not actually going to be super helpful. I mean, we could do it, but... You're still going to get the eye irritation. Now that I think about it, it probably is... <sighs> yeah, it's going to need some active cooling. So we, we do need to come over here with this, I think. Yeah, let's just stop arming and arming about it and let's actually just dig this out. You're not actually getting scolded. Oh, you are getting scolded. That's good timing. Uh, maybe leave this for later. Yeah, we'll leave the actual analysis until it stops erupting. That way you shouldn't get scolded. Because you won't get scolded unless you're standing right next to it. And letting this water out, we're just going to tile this. And then dig this. That's the plan. So in fact, actually you can leave this here. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Very, uh, very nice working conditions. So then you can just get up here and then we can just... Just keep putting in ladder segments like this. And... It's relatively cool up here. Do I just seal this bit off? I might just seal this bit off. Put some... Insulated tile over here. We don't have insulated tile. Let's get some insulated tile. That'd be a good idea. Seems like we've still got some excess oxygen coming from somewhere. Yeah, because each of these produces 31.3. So you need about 7 of them for one dupe. We've got 20. So there must be extra oxygen coming from elsewhere. Presumably just a lot of polluted... 
water and polluted. Yeah, polluted water off gassing, I think. Yeah, you're fine. I think what we'll do is we'll make a little liquid lock over here as well with the rest of the oil. We'll make that out of insulated tile. Oh, this this will need to be insulated as well, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to need to insulate. We're going to need to insulate the actual vent. Oh, I see. That's going to complicate things. Yeah, there's no pistol light here. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Yeah. I guess that is something we need to deal with right away then. Let's get all the water out. That'll help. Well, at least you guys can eat now. Let's actually move the mess tables here. There you go. And that is a great haul. That's good. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think the plan is just to get insulated tiles, seal this off, get as much hydrogen out of it as we can, and just use that for power. That's the goal for today. And analyze it when it stops erupting. <laughs> but if we don't do this soon, it's going to start to be problematic. Not that we're going to have any farms over here anyways. And this way, the teleporter itself will actually be in the base as well. So the dupes won't need a suit up to go in there. There you go. Proper barracks. And you guys can't leave this way, so you shouldn't spread loads of germs. Um, oh, that's definitely something we should do as well, is actually a bathroom. But again, I want to get the power online first before we do that. Because I don't want to have a plumb bathroom only for it to run out of power. And normally the answer to this would be coal, but we're not going to do that today. So for now, I just want to see how far we can get up here. It's probably worth putting the liquid lock in first and then insulating it. We can sweep up the oil. Hmm. I don't know. We we can we can do it. I've done it before. So we'd probably just put it here, wouldn't we? Something like this. This isn't gonna be permanent. This is just gonna be to get it done. So you can build those as well. You can put the rest of the oil here. And then we can come in from the top as well. So yeah, I think I think I think you can um, stop doing that for now. We'll come in from the top as well. And then eventually we'll put in some actual cooling. Now the other thing I could do is I could literally just dump a load of salt water down here. There is a load of salt water. Oh, I just realized we can't actually reach this, can we? We can reach these. In fact, that would probably do. Well, I'll keep those there, but we can we can do that first, and then we can just release these. What have we got? Gas pump. Yep, we do need that. That's very true. Lights. I'm not super worried about lights for now. I think I think long term we are going to have our bathrooms over here. We could start pushing all this chlorine out. That is a thing. Some hydrogen over here as well. Am I really that fussed about that? Not sure. Well, you can certainly dig all of that out. But yeah, this column is going to be like um, mess halls, bathrooms, 
maybe even bedrooms, that sort of thing. No one gets to sleep next to the hydrogen vent, though. That would be rough. But I think it's just going to be a matter of pushing all of this, pushing all these gas tiles out of the way. Uh, you know what? This is going to be high pressure. I think we can get rid of one of these. Just extend the ladder down there as well. That's fine. Right, uh, airflow tiles? Yes. Manual airlocks, gas valves, liquid valves. Interesting that the liquid valve is in that tech. The pressure management tech, I suppose that makes sense. Kind of. <laughs> the tech tree in this game is quite wonky, but it's alright. So yeah, put the rest of the oil in here. We can dig this up. And then let's actually just tile this as well. And what I'd like to do is have all the hydrogen end up over here. But I think that means we're going to have to send it through this room or remove some of this abyss light. We can do that. What's in here? No more mouth breathers. We'll take some briar seeds. It sounds good. Sweep that water. Right. Granite is here. Th these tiles are made of obsidian, so that should be fine. So all we'll need to do is just deconstruct these tiles. And then that water will be liberated. And there's no slime lung. <laughs> Which is good. Nobody likes slime lung. And then I'll just, I'll start tiling stuff, but plants make it quite annoying. I mean, that's going to be a base tile anyway, so that's fine. And then we can start tiling it from this side as well. Uh, don't bother putting that ladder in, because we're going to remove this eventually. Oh, th oh, right, this zone is right where the bathrooms are going to be. Right, okay, so hold on. Yeah, don't worry about that. Just tile this. Yeah, yeah, just tile all of this. Uh, not that one. And then you can tile this as well. And then... So, the door... Let's see. Axis shaft. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be the 11 wide. I have miscalculated. This door should want more out of here. Toilets out of order, really? Uh, no one did this? Yeah, I'm sure it's right on your list. Who, who's, who's schedule, whose stuff is this? That's a tidying errand, right. This is why I don't like outhouses. Right, all three of you get priority three tidying. Yep, piss. Uh, that's going to be more germs in the water. That's fine. Yeah, you need to do these right away. Really glad that these both happen to do it out, like, in sync. What a relief. Although, that said, everyone else seems to be doing alright, so I think everyone else actually managed to go. So that's good. I guess we can sweep this. I don't want any polluted oxygen here, really. Right, there you go. Good job. You're very strong, so that seems to be happening quite quickly.
There you go. Now don't do it again. But yes, remove these and then we'll let the clean water out down here. And what, are, what else are we going to have in here? We could do a grafting station for oxygen masks if we really feel like it. I don't really feel like it. Yeah, keep working on the liquid lock. That's fine. You've got plenty of oxygen for that. Uh, there must be some granite nearby, surely. Uh, this isn't going to be permanent, is it? No, let's just make this have igneous rock then. That'll be that'll be quicker. Yeah, we can just do it like that. Should be way quicker for you guys. Yes, let the water out. Let the water out. And then we just need to actually go in here. So now if you go in here. Um, okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There's where all the water is. Then you can just remove this. And that'll keep the oxburns going for a little while longer. Right, that is insulated tile. Good. <sighs> right. So, this needs to be insulated. Absolutely. Gonna remove these. So three, five, that's the door. And then this room will be eleven. Yeah. So the doors go here. And then that's where we set everything out from. Yeah, you guys have plenty of stuff to do. <laughs> These aren't going to grow while they're actually covered in water, but that will change soon enough. Yeah, do that. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I've just realized I've become error. <laughs> the slime lung. Uh, balls. How do I solve this? We just seal it up again. Is that what we do? I think that's what we do. Very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. This is why we don't want polluted oxygen everywhere. Oh, that let most of the water out. There's a little bit left in here, but that's mostly fine. Some gems on that CO2. Do we succeed in decontaminating? I think we did. Yeah, I think the CO2 went back in there. Good. Good. Yeah, that's enough water. Yeah, your construction skills aren't going to be super high. So we insulate that. Doors are going to be here. Well, I mean, I don't think it's really going to be relevant. Insulation wise. I guess we just seal it off here. Hmm. Well, we definitely make that insulated tile. We might need to pour a little bit more of oil in here to re reproduce the vacuum, but that's fine. And then this can be insulated. I 
I basically just want to make sure it's not dissipating heat into the base. So maybe for now what we do is... For now we just do like this. We'll shuffle this all around a bit later. Actually, let's not do that. Let's, let's do this. And then I think we just make that all insulated tile. We dig all the plants. And we'll just insulate this whole bit. That sounds fun. And then we can remove all of this as well. This is idle. You know, I'm not really going to worry about analyzing this for now. I don't want anyone to score themselves again. And we've got a lot of work. We've got a lot of construction work to do. So that's all fine. Put some tiles here. Dig this. Yeah, you'll get better, Snow Fox. It's fine. Oh, power. I could I could definitely get a second generator going, maybe. No, the thing is we just don't want we just don't want the dupes running that long. I think just one generator and one dupe running is a good idea. How's the germs looking? Germs are looking okay. Where am I actually dumping polluted water? I'll find a spot eventually. I'll set up some deodorizers. But yeah, just let's just start heat sealing this. I don't want to wait on this. Uh, let's actually priority nine this just so that you can get in from this side as well. That'll help speed things up. Oh, I know what I should do. I shouldn't be doing that. I should just be going to the Abyssalite. Except, yeah, this is this is continuous. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I can just do it like this. Seems good to me. And then dig up here, dig it like that. Let all that hydrogen out. Yeah, that's fine. That has stayed well behaved. That's good. Let's stick this back here. Uh, there's a little bit of hydrogen here. We'll just pour in a little bit more oil once we're done here. And between the insulated tile and the vacuum, this should be a proper heat seal. So that should be good. Snowfox earned a skill point. What do you want? <sighs> we don't really need more research stuff, do we? I'm just going to be building. I think I'll be more generally useful. Yeah, here you go. Right, you built that. That's good. Let's stick some. Let's stick some oil in here. I'll uh, just yellow alert it again. Just to make sure they do it. And then that's all going to be sealed off. This looks continuous as well. You don't mind about all this getting hot. Building or supply building or supplying is useful long term. Yes, exactly. The dupes don't have to worry about supplying because they're all beefsteaks. <laughs> they already have the carrying capacity. Which is very handy. The oil is gone. Uh I'll need to put it back in on this side then. Okay. Yeah, good job, Neo. You're scolding. You are scolding building that. Uh, just do it quickly then. Yeah, now you're fine. Just don't stand right next to it and you'll be alright. I'm beginning to think you may need to wait for this to stop erupting to do the rest of this. But let's definitely get that oil back in here. Uh, you have done with... Oh, you've dumped all the oil, haven't you? Oh, yeah. 
I need to stop forgetting about this. We only want a, the minimum amount of oil in here. The dig is fine. You shouldn't scold yourself with digging. There you go. No. I guess someone else will dump that oil and I'll pay attention so I don't forget about it. You decided climbing up here was quicker than climbing up the ladder. That's amusing. Uh, I feel bad. We've already scolded the dupes. I guess the tile immediately next to the, the vent is just too bad. You recently learned that zombie spores are deadly for dupes, lol? Yeah, I mean, the lack of athletics is just cr killer. Alright, there you go. That's done. That is a vacuum now. So now I just need you to dump the rest of the oil in here. And now as well, you can start digging this out. So I think what I actually want to do is I just want to ladder down here. And then we don't have a level three builder guy, so we can't demolish any of this. That's fine. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna use the little oil we got to do all these liquid locks. Wait, it got pushed out? Oh no, it didn't get pushed out again. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, dig those last few tiles. And then we'll come back to this once it's actually... Once it's actually not gonna scolding. Yeah, Not gonna scolding. I make... I, me can English good tonight. Right, there you go. There you go. Vacuum again. So now this is properly heat sealed. And what I could even do is I could corner dig this. That's a bit safer, isn't it? So you can probably not. Um, I should put a door in here as well. That way I can restrict people going in and out. Seems good. We're kind of getting there. I want you to remove these ladders so that I can remember to do this sooner rather than later. What's up with these? Oh, they've not got enough CO2. That's fine. The CO2 will pull up here for a bit and then it will then it will come over. I guess we're not generating any extra CO2. Would be nice to grab this water. Be nice to not have a room full of slime water. Oh wait, uh, no yellow alert needed anymore. Got it. Uh, looks like we dumped most of the oil in here. <laughs> oh well, we probably won't need any more oil other than just these two. This is the only immediate like heat source that I think would need oil. If we do need any more, maybe we can be a bit more careful with that. Right, so this goes here. I'll put another flower here for now, whatever. Uh, Devon, that's not exactly what I wanted you to do. You got spirit. Uh, let's lock that door. So now you can leave, but you can't return in. Um, and I don't mind you guys doing all of this. You're not going to get scolded in here. And then I think in terms of actually digging us out, I think I literally just... I would prefer not to unleash this huge bit of chlorine. I guess we're going to break into this bit of chlorine anyways. I want to be very careful about how much stuff we actually need to do in here. I mostly just want to dig. So I think what we do is we just come up here. And then we dig all of this out. And then the hydrogen should start coming up here. And then we can clear out more of a pathway over here. 
Seems good. Uh, yep, you've got some bleach stone there. You need to put that under here. Now, we've still got enough oxygen at the moment because we still have some algae left over. But uh, we're going to start running out of oxygen again in a minute. So getting this power line is important. So we can dig that out as well. Come up here. You can come up here, dig this, and then you can do these three. Although actually, just do that one first. Rising pressure again. This thing is, this thing's eruption period is long. Not a very long um, inactive period. Hopefully that means it's quite a high output vent. Yeah, there you go. You guys should be all right doing this. And then we can just deconstruct these. Ooh, we're going to get some diamond from this. That'd be nice. And then we can remove, we can remove this kitchen sink. And maybe we can, well, we can't do anything with it yet, but <laughs> we can uh, do something with it later. In fact, let's actually put a pedestal in here. It's got hypothermia. Yeah, you're going to have hypothermia. That's why it's mostly just digging down here. We did get some diamond from that. Neat. Because it's not a demolish, it's a deconstruct. I like it. Right, so the next thing I want to do is actually seal this. So this needs to be heat sealed as well. Uh, let's actually do this first. And then that needs to be heat sealed, and then... I think I probably want to heat seal all of this. Yeah, and do it like that. And then we can still access this teleporter without any issues. So you may need to bridge up here a little bit. We're gonna try not to melt the ice. But we might have to. One or two blocks won't hurt. And then all this hot hydrogen should end up in here and then we can just pump it. And that should work for absolutely ages. I'm very tempted to just mix these two together as well. I'm sure we can make a big pool of cold brine and use that to condense this. It's in the pod. No more mouth breathers. We got a pip squeak. That'll do. Do we already have the pedestal? No. Well, I'm not worried about that yet. Let's put another flower here for now. So now you can dig this, and then we can seal that off. And then you can dig this, and we can seal that off as well. And then we can keep coming in here. Get as many of these done without actually being near the as possible and then we'll just do the, these as a last ditch thing uh hold on what's going on here why is this oh i think we just had a general melt i think that's fine i don't think that's going to cause too many issues yeah we still got the oil here that's fine Uh, let's speed through it. Let's speed through it. You guys aren't missing your uh, bedtime slots yet, are you? No. Uh. Yeah, you guys do not have enough um, stuff to do yet that you're running out of bedtime slots. I want to keep these dupes on one bedtime slot as much as possible. So they're sleeping less. But it does depend on how soon they wrap up with their downtime. 
Sertor going to make it? Yes, yeah, Sertor's going to make it. We're right on the cusp. Light wounds rip. Congratulations, you delivered the Arbor Acre. Justice delivered. Yeah, you can keep tiling those. That ladder is going to be there permanently, so then I can remove this, stick a door here, and we can start planning. So maybe a kitchen here? Maybe? Yeah, for now, I just want you guys to keep doing this insulator. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Priority one, these. Because I want you to do the ladder first. And then dig up here. Oh, it's because they dug this and they released a load of brine. That's what happened. That's fine. Hey, look at that. A nice natural liquid lock there. It's funny. Yeah, that's going to take a little while, but it's all going to be worth it. Uh, what do we got? We got poke shells. I am going to do stuff with poke shells. Let's run. That is a thing. Uh, you can replace that as well. Perhaps we sweep all of this before we do these tiles. See if anyone's keen for that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So now we'll do this one as well. And then we'll do this one last. Well, I mean... I guess I don't really mind. We'll just pour some more oil in here again. Uh, yep. I don't really want the polluted water here. Oh, that's too heavy. We're not going to be able to get this out. I guess just remove this for now, then. Yeah, you can reach... We can reach... That one. You can't reach this one. I think we're going to have to dig this ice. I'll allow it. Yeah, I'll allow it. There you go. Oh, people are idle again. Uh, let's get some more research done, then. Let's get the deodorizer. Because we're going to have some polluted oxygen, and I don't want that hanging around too long, just in case. Just in case of slime line. You trapped? God damn it, I set these priority one. Oh, of course, because you run out of stuff to do. Right, okay, fine, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we got a mouth breather trapped in here without any oxygen. Let's see. Well, I think the first portal call is to dig this. Got two mouth breathers in here. That's not good. Um, I think we do just need to remove these immediately. I think that just to have enough oxygen to actually maybe survive. Yeah, what about this one? Oh, I guess the oxygen is coming in here now. That's fine. Right, so let's build that there now. We'll sweep this and we'll dump the rest of the oil here. There's no... Oh, there is some oil left. Okay, I guess not immediately. There's another frozen zone over here. Although we're, we're slowly melting all this as well. We're doing great on the whole uh, environmental stewardship bit, aren't we? Why can't you get over there? Oh, right. We need to remove this tile. Okay, that's fine. Right, so now you need to build these. And let's make that party nine. And then you shouldn't need to come back in here. Yep, 
Yeah, there you go. So all of this water. I can't. Oh, I have to activate this, don't I? I don't want all that. I guess we could just dump. I don't want all that water down here because this is going to eventually be base territory. I want to just keep dumping all the water over here. So we need to make a way for that to happen, which I guess will be deconstructing the tiles, digging into this, and then opening it that way. I have to build a tile here. Or we could just dig under here. I don't want to breach the abyss light. I'd rather just open this and then have this be the big melt tank. I guess eventually it'll melt over here. Speed three again. You can do that again. That's fine. I'll do as many of these as we can via corner building. So you can push these out as well. And then doing this should be fairly straightforward. Uh, you can plant another plant here. That's absolutely fine by me. We're going to want food in a minute. We dug up all the hexalent. So that's going to be Mia Woods because we've got a farmer. Skill points. Who's got a skill point? Neo. Um, definitely building three. There you go. There we go. Skills to pay the bills. There you go. Now we can actually demolish stuff, but, um, I guess it's not really that relevant anymore. But it's good to have it as an option. Devin's got a skill point. Uh, you have the ranching interest. I'm going to give you farming as well, and then you can come down towards that. And let's actually increase your farming priority. Yep, that's fine. So that's all sealed now. That's good. Uh, you'll need to dig this. Uh, you need to build this tile first, though. And then we need to sweep this and put the oil back. I guess we can do this in the meantime. I would like to have this be erupting more hydrogen, but I mean, we've definitely got enough to work with at the moment, haven't we? Right, there you go. That's done. You can dump the rest of the oil in here. And then Bob's your uncle. Yeah, you can dig this out as well. Uh, let's priority nine this just to make sure that gets done. If we need food, there's lots of food on the other asteroid as well, so we can just do a food raid. Uh, you're going to need to dig that again. Yep. And then this ice... That ice probably isn't going to melt anytime soon. So let's just dig that just to make sure the liquid can flow. That's why we're digging that one too. Who is going to do this? Someone. You guys do not have a lot of errands at the moment, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, you've got plenty of oxygen down here, so I think I think doing it from this way makes sense. Now, we're going to have to make sure the water does actually flow this way, so... What I'm thinking is... Dig this, dig this. And then we can actually come down here, dig these two out, deconstruct these, and let the water flow this way. Because I don't want the water flowing over here. I think what I need to do... Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's stop being silly. I think I need to put this tile back. <laughs> as annoying as it is. Right, now someone can activate this door. 
Presumably because you can just climb over the door. And then we can remove it. There you go. Research is done. Deodorizer is done. That's good. We'll, we'll do that in a bit once we want to start sieving this. But that will come after we get power. Yeah, go ahead. Activate the door. Wow, you did it. You made it inside the room. I guess we don't have to deconstruct it. Now it's open. And then that will melt. That's good. You can dig this too. You may as well dig all of this just to let the liquids in. And then you can dig the snow as well. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to dig this out here. Just to make sure that there's enough room for liquids to flow. It doesn't stay insulated down here, but I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. Oh, look, a cool slush geyser. And it's open. Okay, so that's going to keep things cool down here as well. Uh, we could run in here and try and insulate this. Hmm. That's, that's probably so far away, it doesn't really matter, though. Yeah, let's party nine this. You guys have actually opened this whole bit up now. So now all the gases should start flowing. So that is sealed, that's good. So we've got a complete heat seal over here. This is all heat sealed. So now we just need to build this. So I guess that's the next thing to do, is just bum rush this. So we'll reopen this door now. You shouldn't get scolded in here. And there's plenty of rock for you to build it with, so I'm confident you can do this even though you can't breathe. That can go there, and you can dig this. We're getting there. We're getting there, but this is really important to do. Yeah, that hydrogen has a decent amount of heat capacity, so hopefully that should help melt some of this. But I am going to dig everything that's not ice just to help the gases flow. Yeah, dig that out. We want all the hydrogen to come up here. I actually don't want this tile here. I want this to be a diagonal so that gas can flow. And then you can dig that as well. And then we can just dig all of this and then yeah we'll just come in here and you can dig all of this because I want this top space to be clear because that's where I want to pump the hydrogen from so we've got a nice mix of gases going on here now <laughs> that's fine yeah bum rush moment you have actually got a little bit of oxygen to breathe down here now, so that actually works really well. Not sure how long that's going to last. Presumably not very long at all with you mouth breathers. But long enough for you to get this task done at least. And then we can start pushing this area in as we need to make more room for the base. So that seems good. Uh, we can't actually reach any of these because we need to do one of them first. That's amusing. I guess we'll do this. I'll be fine for now. And we'll just tile all this uh, chlorine away. You're fine, it's just a little hydrogen. Yeah, this oxygen's close enough. You should be able to do this without any issue. And in the meantime, you can do all of this. Uh, let's, yeah, that is priority nine. It's fine, you just prefer digging. Yeah, gases do all appear to be behaving. We're gonna get a little bit of hydrogen up here, that's fine.
And this is all just so that I can avoid avoid the dupes scolding when they build this, and so that the hydrogen isn't heating up the base. And I guess we'll just put the hydrogen generator... We could put the hydrogen generator in this room too. And w eventually, once this is all melted, we'll just um, pump this around the hydrogen. And that should cool it down. Yeah, it is going to get hotter in here as the... It's going to get hotter in here as we insulate it more effectively, but it's fine. As long as you don't rub your eyes right next to the geyser, we'll be fine. Yeah, you're almost there. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Yeah, that's fine. This is helping us explore as well a little bit. There's an unknown area. Great. Love it. And I don't really mind heat leaking out here. This area isn't super hot. This area isn't super hot either. Good. I'm happy with how this is going. No more mouth breathers. It's fine. You guys do just like digging. In fact, I can speed through this. You guys do not have to ponder today. We have officially run out of algae. And these aren't growing because there's no CO2. But the CO2 will climb up, so that's fine. Base pressure is going to reduce. That's okay. Looks like we're getting a little bit of water down here. That's okay. It's not too bad. Yeah, generally I don't want the waters to go down there. I could remove this. Why did I put a tile there? Oh, it was so we could activate the door. That's amusing. Uh, we'll want to remove all of this as well. Keep removing stuff in here. Is that snow? Yeah, that's snow. The hydrogen must flow. In fact, yeah, removing this is important. Sertor earned a skill point. That's good. Uh, let's see. I believe it was farming. Yeah, you can go for straight for farming. I'm still undecided about the outfit for these dupes to wear. But yeah, we're going to need farming soon. Um... Oh. For now, I might as well set up some mealwood farms. So... Just do this. In fact, if... Oh. I don't really want to build stuff that's temporary now, so we'll lay out, we'll lay out the tiles as if it was permanent. And we'll, we'll change what the, what's actually in the room later. But I think we'll start putting mealwoods over here. This can be removed. This can be a ladder that goes down here. We don't need doors for just mealwoods, so we'll leave that for now. Here he is. Hey, Leofar, how you doing? Welcome, new start. Yes, indeedy. We are the Arboreal Airheads. Um, name pending. <laughs> uh, we're all mouth breathers, and we're on a Folia asteroid. So we have four. At the moment, three of them are beefsteaks because we found three different vacillators right next to our starting biome. What a weird seed. And now we're trying to deal with this hydrogen vent so we can get our first power because I want to do super sustainable for a change. So that means no coal. So we've got this erupting now and we've actually heat sealed this whole area. Oh, hold on. I need to heat seal this too. Technically speaking. 
Uh, so... That's probably the quickest way of doing that. And then... You can dig that, and then you can just dig in here. And that should be fine. You got bad news for me? What's the bad news? Oh, I forgot to do something again. Is the slime lung already out? No. I died in Willow's base? No. How did I die? Oh, speaking of which, um, I, uh, I took some inspiration from Willow. We now have the Amorbus mod, and this Morb has filled this room with slime lung, which is going to potentially cause some issues. But uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna install a few new mods on these runs, just aesthetic ones, and only if I'm actually pleased with them. Stuck in rocket. I've got I've got to go watch this later. I've got to go find the mod. <laughs> hmm. We've got a baby hatch. Very nice. Uh, yeah, you can remove this too. But yeah, it's probably about time that we start putting in some mealwoods. So let's see. What's the plan? You know, definitely want you to tile this. You know what, let's remove this. Let's make this the seed room because no no pips are in here. None of them are going to get in here. <laughs> glory, glory, glory way to die. <laughs> PLA for modded run. What is PLA? Or do you just mean pla? Yeah, we're ending up with some gases down here. That's fine. Plan for modded run. Um, well, I mean, the plan for this run is we're going to investigate arbor, trees, pips, the whole ethanol production line that you seem to know very well. So I might have to ask you a few questions. But we're, we're going to mostly focus on trees and pips and we want to get some poke shells as well. Maybe some oak shells even. I want to investigate all the critters that we haven't really investigated yet. And I actually want to get deep into space, because we haven't done that, really. We haven't gone to any of the outer asteroids yet, and I want to do that. And that's basically it. So, the other thing is just have a low number of dupes, have a low, relatively low, low number of critters, no 400 hatches. Yep, don't do Arbor domestically. Yeah, I know you can pit plant them. We do have a polluted water vent over here. Yeah, let's seal this in and then that'll be done. And I think what we'll want to do is we'll actually want to reclaim as much space as we can over here. But I imagine we're not even going to touch this area until we decide to actually properly deal with this with exosuits. But we're not, we're not even at that stage yet. We're at the stage where we just want some hydrogen power. Is any of the gas getting up here? No, you actually need to do this. And you can't because this snow is here. That's fine. Keep digging out the snow. They can be buggy, domestic trunk growing wild branches. I did see a video of someone automatically pruning arbor trees with waterfalls. I want to try that. Sounds fun. But we should have lots of space over here because this will all be in the base. Any arbor tree shenanigans we can do in the base. And we're not going to have a huge amount of dupes, so they shouldn't take up a huge amount of space. Right, let's put in some... Let's store all the seeds over here, i.e. in the room without the pip, and then we'll uh, and then we'll start doing planter boxes. Like literally every seed is going in here, so pips aren't going to cause mayhem. What are you doing? Oh, you're just moving rocks. That's fine. Let's see. Uh, we released the chlorine. Well, in that case, you might as well dig the rest of this so that the gases can flow better. Then, yeah, you can dig this too because no one needs to come over here. The hydrogen is making its way up. Right, let's speed up again. Recently, I'm trying to do an infinite water storage, but somehow it doesn't work. Post on the Discord and we can we can discuss it. I think I now have the hang of infinite liquid storages. And I'll pay attention to when this is next idle, although I think it's at the point where it's just gonna scold people anyways. We'll see. But yeah, once the hydrogen gets up here, 
that's when we'll uh, start pumping it. Yeah, you can remove the snow too. I don't care about any of the snow. You missed that you were using tiles, not doors. <laughs> yeah, you can use doors and you can use airflow tiles, I think. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the constraint. Let's also, I'm just going to set this on priority one. Let's also just start digging this out. So I want to make sure these oxyferns can breathe. Uh, you know what? Let's make these priority. Let's make these priority seven. Because I know you guys are going to want to dig all of this first. I'm going to make this priority nine. I think we can go speed three again. Right, all seeds go in here. And then we'll start doing mealwoods. And it's a bit chilly down here, but it's mostly fine. Maybe? Not really. <laughs> um, it'll be fine. Maybe we'll move them over here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll move them over here. So that's going to be the axis shaft. That's going to be a floor. Let's actually just start setting up the proper tile floors. Sorry, guys. I know we just planned this out. So that can go there. That can go there. We'll just start putting in... We'll just start putting in mealwoods. We'll use these rooms for something else in the future, but for now, Mealwoods will do. Right, you've dug that. Uh, we do need to... We need more of this uh, liquid to move. You know what I'm very tempted to do? I'm tempted to make this insulated so we can open this up. Let's do that. The hydrogen is kind of making it. Yeah, so put this here. Make that a priority nine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So Charmich has reserved the fifth dupe. We have a Devon. Actually, yes, you you like Devons, don't you, Leofar? We have a Devon who hasn't got a name. That sounds like a good use of channel points to me. Uh, so we can keep digging these out as well. I just want to let all the gases out. So actually, yeah, you know what? Just do this as well. Keep grabbing all these things. Keep breathing all of the oxygen that's in this room. We're going to have some off-gassing. That's fine. Right, that's done. You can now remove these. And then we should hopefully get some hydrogen up here. Without actually butchering the teleporter. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what's going to go on with the liquid flow. I should sweep these bits of water up. Actually, we shouldn't have any liquid down here. There shouldn't be any liquid flow down here. So let's just sweep these as well just to help the gas flow. And then we can keep digging stuff out here as well. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, Devin. Just hop between all the bits and sweep it out. Let the gases flow. We want the we want the chlorine to come down here. Don't really want to dig up the bleach stone. You know, let's make an alternate corridor for this. Let's go in here. I don't think you guys are going to be able to reach this, unless I do some shenanigans. We can put a ladder in, that's fine. Right, hydrogen is starting to make it. That's fine. You can dig these up. Uh, looks like the snow has melted again. That's good. We can put in a ladder over here. We're probably going to have to do a few ladders because this is going to start melting rapidly. That's fine. Air is still okay. 
Uh, but we need to start doing mealwoods. So, all the seeds in here. You got any errands left? You've still got a few seeds to collect. Make sure the pips are utterly bored and then we'll do the planting. It's all good. The oil. I'm to the oil. Great. Um, sweep that up and then we'll dump the oil here again. You didn't bottle any oil, did you? Because what I want is I want all the polluted oxygen to just go away. And if we put the pump high enough, it should be fine. We're going to have polluted ice in here and it is going to melt, but... Gases should just settle out. Whoa, look at this. We got like some kind of mad... <laughs> We've got some kind of mad pip conference going on here. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Hmm. They will converge on like the one seed they can find, maybe. The pipple. <laughs> All the pipple. Exactly. There you go. Hopefully that oil will stay there. The pip colony is ready to conquer the asteroid. That's exactly it. It's a race of, It's a race against time with the pips. And Adreco has managed to escape the jungle and is over here. That's very good. Um, I think our plan has kind of failed. I think I need to dig this out as well. To let the polluted water keep going. This, this pip. Right, what are you doing? So you're trying to grab the sleep wheat. But then you're drowning. And then you can't do it. So you're just caught in an endless loop. I feel like this is actually an endless loop. This is the this is the saga of the Arctic pip. This is different to the saga of the magma pip um, from the um, from the previous stream. I'm pretty sure you're just going to keep doing this forever until I stop watching you. So let's go watch something else. You saw that? That's good. I'll tell you what. I've got a clip. I've got a clip coming tomorrow of the magma paku. That is gonna that is gonna go on YouTube. Yeah, sweep that as well. Uh, you need to prioritize this. It's fine. You are doing this though. That's good. Any more seeds? Yep. You're still grabbing seeds. That's good. How many seeds have we actually got? Quite a few. That's good. The mission can continue for now. I guess you're going to grab a lot of... <laughs> Pinch of pepper seeds. Hmm. Damn, it should be clipping things but kind of disrupt the viewing experience. Oh, it's all right. Like, I mean, yeah, by all means clip stuff, but it's like, if I know that something particularly memorable happened, I'll probably make a YouTube video on it at some point. Mm. Oh. Someone needs to redeem Stretch. Is I am in the mood for stretching. Right, the hydrogen. The hydrogen is real. You can dig these two. Seek fluid intake. That's not stretch. Oh well, I have got some squash. I actually went out to get some more squash from Morrison's, specifically in case you did that, because Pepsi does not count. Has this actually gone again? This has. Oh, let's see. Is there polluted... Ah, the polluted water is off-gassing. That needs to go over here, so that's not actually disrupting this. How annoying. Yeah, make that a priority nine, and then we'll uh, put the oil back again. Wow, I guess there's a lot of seeds. Well, you know what? There's no pips on this bit, so perhaps if you just prioritize doing that, then we can just yeah, we can just put the we can just put the planter boxes here. And I think this is gonna be an issue now. 
We need five mealwoods per dupe, so it's not going to be too hard. Because we're not going to get too many more dupes. Uh, certainly none of these. Although I must say the plus 14 researcher with glow... Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this dupe, Nails, is a glow stick and a radiation eater. Does that mean they consume their own radiation? I feel like a science experiment is needed. I mean, you're not a mouth breather. You're anemic. Nah, we're not taking nails. I do wonder how that goes, though. <laughs> Three calories. Obviously not enough to actually sustain the dupe, but it is what it is. Right, fertilizer, no doubt in my mind. Fertilizer's too good. But it should be said, you can't fertilize mealwoods because the plants aren't growing. It's the lice on the plants. And it took me way too long to realize that. There, were, there was actually that one run where we actually ran out of calories and we had to start... I, I think we had to start making mush bars. Something. Because um, we were relying on fertilizing mealwood and we were growing for the Drecos. Or something. No, it wasn't mealwood for Drecos. It was mealwood in farms. Who's got unreachable food? Are you actually trapped? You are actually trapped. Interesting. Yeah, this ice melting is going to do that. So I guess you could build a ladder there. But by all means, dig out all this stuff first. Yeah, there you go. That is one good thing about mouth breathers. They do clear an area of oxygen quite quickly. Oh, wow. You guys are all getting stressed. You guys are all getting stressed. Presumably because of popped eardrums. Yeah, presumably because of pop deer drums and sopping wet and all that stuff, right? We So we need to stop this right away before you guys actually uh, go off the deep end. Which is annoying because we still need to actually set this pump up. Ah, but we're almost there. So where's going to be the best spot for a gas pump? I mean, we'll set it up with a valve anyways. Like a mechanical filter. It's not too much hydrogen there. And we'll stop you guys from going in here. I'll put a door here as well so we can stop you guys from going in this area, period. Yeah, you're doing alright on morale, but you just... Um, we're giving you the full treatment of liquid exposure, gas exposure... So I guess that does make sense. <laughs> Poor Devon. Poor sod. So I think what I'll do is... I'll do the doors. Um, we'll get this just so, just so that we can get this liquid lock properly done. This vent should just keep erupting now. We shouldn't have any issues with that. And yeah, you can start planting mealwoods. How many seeds do we have? Nine? We only have nine seeds? I mean, there's loads of plants. We can dig those up. I guess nine is a start. But we're going to want 20. Let's actually slow it down a bit. I do not want you guys doing stress reactions on the second stream. That would be kind of silly. So yeah, dig all of these. Yeah, because you guys have just been going ham on these mealwood seeds because I haven't cared about them at all. And we dug up a load of buried items. Ooh, calories, nice. Uh, we'll need to break into here again. That's fine. <laughs> Poor Devon, look at this. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, dig that as well. Well, it's a start. These, how long do these take to grow again? These take three cycles to grow. So that's fine. We're not going to run out of food anytime soon. And we'll just eat the lice. <laughs> <laughs> Took me time to realize you're calling my attention. Yes, the afar. There's a Devon. 
We have a Devon. All right, the FR. I'm just going to do everyone's usernames as they are. Here you go. Already. Very nice. Um, let's see. There's more oxygen here. We should actually... We should actually put a deodorizer over here, shouldn't we? Something. I'll do that once I know where the main ladder is going to go. Yeah, I know everyone's stressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are you a destructive dupe? I mean, you would know that, wouldn't you? No, you're a binge eater. Oh, well, that's no good. Well, we're going to make sure that you guys can't go back in here, but I'm going to need you to dump the oil. So you need to sweep this up again. And then I, I guess just keep planting all of these. See how far you get. It would be nice if we could get 20 mealwoods. Yeah, the chlorine is starting to come down here. We're starting to get a little bit of water. We shouldn't end up with so much water down here. It causes issues. Most of the liquid should go this way. But I think we're going to stop sending people in here because they're getting too stressed. Oh, this bit is stressing them out as well, isn't it? Yeah, because they're getting sopping wet going through the liquid lock here. Yeah, we don't want that. We just want the soggy feet. Oh, God. Right, why... Why are you delivering a Murphy through here? Okay, that that one's on me. <laughs> that one's on me. Right, this area is now off limits. So we get out of there. And then we can start planning what this is going to look like. So this polluted ice is going to take a while to melt. Uh, I think what I do is... I stick the pump here. So... Let's leave on speed one. Obviously, it doesn't matter what the pipe is because the hydrogen is going to be cold by the time it comes here. And then... We'll set up a gas valve. We'll do the funny loop. So, bridge. Gas valve. Pipe. So this should be a continuous loop of hydrogen. And then the rest of the hydrogen can come out here. No, hold on. How does this go again? So this is the hydrogen. And if it can't go through here, then it will come out this way. And then we'll send it somewhere else. So this is the hydrogen and this is the non-hydrogen. Well, why can't you get in here now? No, you can't. How bizarre. So, yeah, the hydrogen should come out here. We'll dig this ice as well, just so we can actually get this built. Same with this. I'm not going to be super... I'm not going to be super, super on melting all the ice this time, because I think I was a bit excessive with that last time. So we'll try not to melt it when we can, but if it's getting in the way of something, we'll just do something. Although, actually, I've realized now I, I don't have to melt any of this. I don't have to dig any of that. We can just send the pipes this way. Yes. Um, so that's good. Uh, I'll cancel this for now. So that's the vent. So any, any gas that's not hydrogen here, we can just vent out here. That's fine. That shouldn't cause any issues. Um, I will just sweep this up so that people don't keep stepping in it. I may need to give people, like, a, a sleep break. A one-cycle sleep. To not get any stress reactions. Yeah, you still need more mealwoods. That's fine. Yeah, you can keep digging those up. That's fine. So then that's the hydrogen. Now we're going to actually want to put the hydrogen generator here as well. No algae. 
Uh, we had some algae, but we burned it all. We're mouth, we're mouth breathers. That's what we do. I mean, if we look in the materials mode. Do, 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 do. That's the wrong, that's the wrong thing. Uh, we have a few algae pockets. There is some up here. Yeah, we can remove this and grab this, I guess. Not a lot, though. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Uh, this is all uh, hermit territory. We should ask him for some oxygen, considering he can live in this uh, Gravitas shipping container indefinitely. That seems like a thing. <laughs> oh, hey. I always just think of uh, George from Halo Reach, which again is why I made a silly YouTube video about that. Right, we need to remove this plant. Remove that there. I feel like we're planting them faster than the pips are getting to them. Stress seems to be sort of going up and down. I think so long as you're not popping your eardrums and getting sopping wet, that's the main thing. So we need to make sure that no matter what the dupes aren't getting sopping wet. So I think that means ladders here. And I don't want to open this up because I want to make sure all the hydrogen stays over here. I think, honestly, I know it generates heat. I think I'm just going to put the hydrogen pipe out here so we can just build all the infrastructure easily. So let's actually research the hydrogen plant as well. Hydrogen. That's not very helpful. There you go. So we'll just stick all this stuff right outside the teleporter and that'll do for now. Um, so then we'll need the wire. So... This is where the main wire is going to go. But we could send it somewhere else as well. This is another place for the main wire. Let's actually try doing that with two, two hands instead of one. Use the shift key to drag in a straight line. So we'll just dig through that and then... Let's see, where are the base levels going to be? I think we can reach all of this as it is. No, we can't. That's fine. So let's put out some markers for the base levels. So we stop getting confused about that. Oh, that's convenient. There's one below base level. This is actually at base level. That's nice. So the wire can just go... I mean, we'll just do the wire this way. And then I'll go up here. <laughs> and then we'll plug it into the conveyor loader, because why not? Just hold and use WAS. Yeah, that is a good idea. And then this wire can just come this way. And then I can go up here. Yeah, that could be busy for a while. Oh, you need to do these outhouses again. Right, how many mealwoods is this? That's 18. I'll just put some more mealwoods down here, and then and then that should definitely be enough. That'll be enough for, like, seven dupes. What do you mean? Oh, pressure. Wait, the base pressure is already this low? These guys are slacking hard. That's not good. Um... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. If we put in electrolyzers already... We're going to have hydrogen coming out of those. We'll want to pump that into here as well. Oh, it's all gone. It's all ended up over here. I mean, dig that maybe. That'll help. 
I mean, you've got enough oxygen, but you're clearly uh, not doing too well. What's the CO2 like? Yeah, there is CO2. It's just struggling to actually... Oh, it's because they're covered in water. Oh, that's the issue. Yes. Remember to do this. And then the plants can actually breathe. A little. There you go. I mean, we know that's not enough. But that'll help. And then, once this is working, we'll need to put in the power generator. So that's still being researched. Okay, that's fine. You can speed to it for now. And for now, I'm just going to plant the two mealwoods here. Because I really don't want to generate excess food. Because we don't have a food storage yet. But that's fine. So in fact, um, let's make this lower priority. Uh, I suppose we should actually dig this and let the CO2 out as well. It's a good amount of CO2. Shame we can't because of these plants. I guess I could tile it up. That seems a bit silly. No, I'm not wasting time on that. Uh, there's oxygen here. We need to deodorize this. So let's actually... Hmm, let's see. Let's just do the good old trick. Um, that's only going to work if we've got... only polluted oxygen. So maybe we... Oh, we have to let all this oxygen out, though. Okay, here's what we do. We stick a deodorizer here, a deodorizer here. We let all of this oxygen out. There you go. Let's make this priority eight. So we let this oxygen out. We then deodorize the rest as it's coming out of here. And then we try and set up some kind of um, airflow tile shenanigans like we did in Flip Farters. Is 40 tons of pressure per tile too, too much, or is it okay for now? <laughs> what have you got? What's going on? What have you done? Yeah, this is still erupting. That's good. I feel like this is going to overpressurize before it melts anything. You're pumping some crude oil. Nice. I mean, we are going to be in danger zone pressure because the plants are going to stop growing if the pressure gets too low. Perhaps I need to tile this up, but... Hmm. Let's do this first. Yeah, the deodorizer there, the deodorizer there. Let me just ladder over this for now. Although, let's, uh, yeah, that's priority seven. That's fine. Stress is decreasing because you're not getting, uh, <laughs> you're not getting, uh, pop deer drums now. That's good. There you go. Very snazzy. Uh, you do need to fill these. It needs to be a priority nine. But yeah, once we've got the power to start up the spawn, we'll do the spawn immediately. And I don't know exactly where that will go. Maybe here. This seems like a pretty convenient spot for me to build it. It's already cold. I think we just do it there, because, like, it's next to the Oxyferns, and, like, we need to get it up immediately. Right, let the oxygen out. Breathe, you mouth breathers, breathe. You know what this reminds me of? I don't know why. It reminds me of Two Legit Cities runs, where... Was it Two Legit City? No, I think it was Ron Empire. I think I think he did a Mouth Breeders run, and he was, like, really struggling for oxygen at the start. 
So I don't think that's going to 100% get it. But it should get it for long enough that we can do our trick. So what we won is we won... We want airflow tiles here. And then we want mesh tiles here. So let's actually research mesh tiles after we've done the hydrogen generator. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna flood this with some regular water and then get the deodorizers off this all off the bleh. We'll get the deodorizers working off this off gassing without exposing the base of the polluted oxygen. Although, to be honest, I feel like these guys are Let's see, where is it? Oh, uh, you're not doing this quickly enough, are you? <laughs> There's not enough gas pressure. There's too much oxygen here. We're going to end up with some polluted oxygen. That's fine. Slime lung risk is minimal. We've sealed that off. But yeah, this should be priority 8. Set this back to priority 8. I don't want to generate more polluted oxygen here than necessary because the yucky lungs is the last thing we need. Uh, so let's do a mesh tile as well. There you go. Yeah, I guess this is kind of necessary for now. And then if we want to generate more oxygen from this, we'll need to... We need to dig this out and give it more surface. Not enough water for now. I mean, we have water. The issue is power. Because unless we get the dupes running on wheels all day, we're not going to have the power to like, keep sieving the water. Because we've got, we've got pretty much endless polluted water. Yeah, this is the thing about the um, the mouth breathers, is that oxygen becomes an issue much sooner and when you have less labor than usual to actually get stuff done. But, I mean, this is going to help. And yeah, the yucky lungs is not good because that's increasing. Oh, actually, here's a good point. So, regular dupes, they breathe 100 grams per second of oxygen. Yucky lungs makes it 130 grams per second. When you have mouth breathers, it doesn't actually go from 200 to 260. It's still a flat 30 grams per second increase. It's not 30%. So mouth breathers will consume 230 grams per second of oxygen. So the mouth, effectively, the, the effective penalty is like half as bad. So we don't have to worry about it too much, I guess. But I mean, ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, we need oxygen. We need oxygen and air included. There's more CO2 in here. I don't want to let this chlorine out though. Yeah, you should get the research done pretty quickly though. I have I have faith. We desperately need more gas pressure in here though. Uh, oh, we've done that. That's good. Um, so now. Now I just need to dig this, and then we can tile this up. And then we can start doing this. But this is probably the most important thing to do. And at least we're getting some clay from this, so that's nice. So we'll need to dump some water in here right away, so let's just... It's just... There's, I guess let's just do this. Just take this out. And that needs to be clean water. So, b -b 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 mesh tile. Put that here. And you can remove these. Put the deodorizers here. And each of these produces 90 grams per second. So you need two of these. So you, we're going to need like just over two of these per dupe. So this should be... We can we can make this a bit wider. It's not a problem, actually. Hmm. Dig this up. Let's go all the way over here. 
And then we'll just do Diode Roses all this way. Uh, in retrospect, I should have just done the wire here. It's fine. Yes, yeah, so we need to get we need to get Sertor off the wheel. Uh, this needs to be priority nine. And then what I need to do is I need to tile this. And then that'll be the edge. <laughs> Do we already get rid of all the oxygen from that? Oh god. There is more down here. You can ladder this as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put the spawn here. This seems like a nice spawn sized area. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I am a dumb. We're gonna need to do these in order. Yeah, dig this. Then you can corner build them. Uh, isn't there CO2 blocking? There is CO2 in here now. Oh, God. Bleh. Uh, maybe we'll just open this up and let it flow out down here and then... Because we need to fill this with water. I just want to get this opened up first and then we'll fill it with water and then we'll just let all the CO2 out down here. And then we'll seal it up again. Right, what we got? Fungal spore. It's pretty neat. Uh, mushroom. I mean, we don't have any CO2 at the moment, but uh, slime consumer is not a bad idea. Oh, there's a mealwood over here. Yeah, grab this. Uh, do, 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 do that. Do, oh, no, don't do that yet. Yeah, remove these. Our wire, that can get removed. Uh, that's not an immediate thing to do, though. That's fine. I had to change my microphone settings the other day. They kind of set... Um, kind of set in a funny way. They reset, so... Let me know if the microphone is different than usual. I don't think it is. All the regular bubbles. Uh, remove that. Put this back here. Neo, you're actually working pretty hard on this. Good job. We actually have positive oxygen again. Somehow. Good. <laughs> Most of it through oxyferns. Did we find some... Oh, we found some algae. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Rip... Here I was thinking my idea was a good idea. Oh well, that's fine. You guys need to do all this eventually anyways. Okay, this is looking good now. Lots of hydrogen. We might not... I mean, I'm going to get this working anyways, but... Yeah, this is filling up with hydrogen quickly. Mm. Yeah, don't worry about coming in here yet though. I think the polluted oxygen here is actually letting this vent overpressurize stuff a little. That's nice. What's the fastest way to get rid of a liquid pool? Like a very pink liquid pool. <laughs> what have you done? Yeah, stick leaves here. And then party nine this. And then, I guess just make this an airflow tile and then dig this. 
I guess we could make these both airflow tiles for now. Man, we've got over an hour. I'm, I'm hoping we can get this hydrogen plant in within the next hour. I could speed up a bit more. Yeah, you guys aren't pondering. Let's speed through it. You guys know what you're doing. What are you... Well, I thought you did. Oh, you just decided to come over here and dig. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Not really. Let's... Well, I mean, you do need to do that eventually. But I prefer if you did this instead. That. Trouble Queen, hello! Where did my raid thing go? <laughs> the raid of Whiskers didn't show up. Whiskers missed the raid. How are you doing? We are we are doing the Arboreal Airheads. We're on a Folia asteroid. They're all mouth breathers. We only have four and we're already out of um, oxygen. <laughs> We've got our oxyfern set up down here, but um, we haven't quite got enough CO2. I think I, I would love to use a wood burner to get some more CO2 in here, but I'm kind of trying to do super sustainable. But it's all right. Um, we have got a big pool of polluted water over here and we're trying to set these deodorizers up to harvest that efficiently without, you know, having it be polluted everywhere. Yes, what have you been up to? Have you been playing Oxygen Not Included? I think you have. I think I saw you flash up on my Steam. Sertor's gonna send a message on Discord to show us his, uh, show us their problematic liquid situation. You're not filling your liquid tanks with whiskers, are you? Actually, where is whiskers? Let's say hi to whiskers. Is whiskers having a nap? I think whiskers is having a nap. I think most of the fish are having a nap, to be honest. They're quite relaxed. That's good. They're getting all the oxygen they need from their water. They're, they're pros at oxygen extraction. We play only to the end of this week, and then you might take a break. Yep, fair enough. Um, I actually have some exciting news. So, I'm actually... I have 11 days of annual leave left to spend this year and I don't really have the money for going on holiday anywhere. <laughs> so my plan is actually to literally just book off every Wednesday uh, from the start of November to Christmas. So that means I'll have some availability on Wednesday to do something different than usual and that means I might do a different game than usual. That sounds like more Oni. Maybe, maybe it sounds like something else. Maybe it sounds like... Stellaris. Maybe it sounds like Rimworld. I'll put a poll up. Or it might even be like um, a Lights Out challenge or something with like a big gameplay mod. But yes, we'll definitely have an opportunity to do something on Wednesdays. Valheim? Maybe. Probably a game I already have. Because I don't really want to spend more money on new games. Rimworld? Again, maybe. It would just be base Rimworld. But to be honest, there's enough, there's enough stuff in base Rimworld. Uh, I don't think I'm going to run out of stuff to do. <laughs> and I might get the DLCs. I might be convinced. But yeah, I'll put a poll up. Uh, the, the poll will go on the Discord channel. And the poll will go on the YouTube. Because that's where all the VODs go. And that seems to be where most people watch me. Right, this is done. So now we can pour the water in here. So let's see. Oh, do we have brine? Can you just do this? Yeah, just put some brine in here. That's good. Have I played RimWorld before? I've played RimWorld for about 100 hours. Yeah. Um, I, I, I got the ending. I got the ending where we built the spaceship and we left. But I only played it the one save. So there's loads of the game that I haven't even slightly looked at. So I'm really looking forward to that. Let's speed up again. So you just need to get all the CO2 in here. There's a few pockets lying around. How do I coax all the CO2 to go over here? I imagine it just will eventually fall out because it's heavier. And as soon as it does, we'll just put in the tiles. So who's doing this? I guess I'm yellow alerting someone to do this. Who's Brian? <laughs> Is it big Brian time? Also, sorry my voice is a bit scratchy. I'm not actually sure whether I have COVID or not because I took a COVID test at the weekend and it had a little bit of a red mark on the thing. I took one today and it's and it's fine. So I don't know exactly what's going on with that. But I feel fine. So that's the important thing. Right, Leofar, are you on the way with this brine? Where are you? 
Oh, I see. Brian. Yeah, we're going to dump some Brian in the liquid lock. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. 200 kilograms. There you go. <laughs> Brian? Brian. So what this does... So in case you don't know about this little trick. So the deodorizer actually pulls the gas from this tile. So it will suck the polluted oxygen up from here without letting the polluted oxygen actually leave without getting filtered. So that way the deodorizers are guaranteed to handle it all and you're not going to end up with um, yucky lungs. The only caveat to that is we need to get rid of all the CO2. So that needs to drift out of here lazily. And it feels like it's on the way. Brian's Brian. Hello, bees. How are you doing? Again, I do need to pop in and watch you at some point. What time? What time? I'm going to give you a shout out. And what times do you actually stream? Because I want to come in and say hi. Your name is quite long. <laughs> I should probably have a button for this. There you go. I'm pretty sure I typed that right. Right, are we done? We're done. Good. So now we can just seal this up. That can be a yellow alert. And now we shouldn't have any more yucky lungs. I imagine the dupes will breathe all the polluted oxygen right away. If not, oh, we've got some polluted dirt and polluted water from over here. Ooh. You know, I think, I think we dumped the polluted water in here. <laughs> right by the hydrogen vent. We'll obviously change this layer. You're trying to do Monday and Thursday evening, but I was exhausting yesterday, so I didn't stream. Oh, no. Well, I'll make sure to try and check you out on Thursday, because I don't normally stream on Thursdays. I'm usually doing video stuff on Thursdays. Are you, are you done with the yellow alert? Oh, yeah, you are. Good. Right. So that's that done. No more CO2 in here. Just lovely gas. Gas, gas, gas. Oh, these need a uh, filtration medium. Yep. So that could be a priority nine. You know, like everything else. Oof, it's being late school. It's being late school. Wait, I send the pick on DS. Oh, right. For your, for your liquid storage thing. Okay, yeah. Well, have fun with school. Uh-huh. We just finished a cool thing. Some door calligraphy. Writing bees in molten gold. Nice. Right, okay, so that should be oxygen done. That should be oxygen done because we've got this working now. Um, there's probably a very clever way to actually get this to empty directly into here. That being said, we're not going to use up too much of this. I think the actual answer is we just put a liquid lock in here. For now. I don't want to put the liquid lock here because this is where the actual base ladder is going to go. So I'm eventually going to need to move this stuff. But we could put a liquid lock. Where would we even do that? I mean, I guess we could put one here. I don't want all the oxygen falling down here, though. You know what? That'll be fine for now. We'll just leave that for now. Speed to it. Speed to it. Do the outhouses. And now the next thing you need to do is you need to build the wire. You need to build the wire. And we need to get this hooked up. You guys have de-stressed a little bit. So I think we can get you to start building this. But only once you build the wire. And then I'll disconnect the gas pipe. We'll get this circulating with hydrogen to make sure we don't have to filter it. Because I do not want to have to repair this thing. And then we'll research the hydrogen generator, which is up here. Get that finished. And then that will be power sorted. And then once we've got a little bit of power to go off, we'll get the spawn running as well. Uh, I could just put the spawn here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe we just put the spawn here. Because we're going to want to desalinate all this salt water eventually. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to desalinate this and I'm not going to boil it. There's not really a lot to boil stuff with on this asteroid. Which is not really a problem because it'll get me to actually be smart for a change. So I think that means, let's see, you're not going to analyze that. Let's allow people to come in here again.
Uh, but let's make this all priority six. So that you don't just immediately rush in and... Like, KO yourselves. But that bottle empty needs to be done right away. Because we don't want any polluted water hanging out in the base. It can go down here. And you guys can breathe in this oxygen um, just to use it up, I guess. So that is polluted, polluted water. It would help if I could actually speak properly to me. We got the Draco. Yeah, overall this seems like a very interesting seed and I'm glad I picked it. Yeah, these are all running pretty well now. That's good. Lots of oxygen. And I'm hoping that's actually going to grab most of the polluted stuff, which is up here. I think it will. That's good. All right, we got the research done. Let's see. Plum bathrooms. That's a good start. I would be really happy if we could do that today as well. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to stick the hydrogen generator here. I think we'll just do one for now. Yes, one will be fine. Do we have the smart battery? I thought we researched that. There is a research. We didn't finish it. That's fine. So we won't plug this in just yet. The hydrogen pipe will go down here, I guess. That's fine. And then the non-hydrogen pipe will just go in here, because it's only going to be stuff like oxygen and stuff. I could put a deodorizer in here as well. Just a casual, casual one. Maybe we put two in. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. So then we'll just put the smart battery and we'll set that up here. We have a little bit of lead for building stuff with. How much lead do we have? Do we have anything can we that we can build out of refined metal yet? I don't think we do. A good sign. Oh, wait, I know what we can do. We can select some of this. Oh, no, this doesn't work. <laughs> we'll need a smart home tech as well. It's very true. High stress returns. Leofar is stressed once again. Just stop getting stressed. It's that easy. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all been dug out. Um, I would like to dig this out as well. I guess it's not a huge priority. Yeah, these oxyferns are all working now. That's good. <laughs> Just don't get stressed. Uh, can we activate this? This is a field research errand, isn't it? Yeah, Snowfox can do that. That's cool. You may as well do that. Uh, we now have the smart battery. That's good. So we have 500 kilograms of lead. That is going to be enough for this. This is not going to get super hot. And by super hot, I mean super hot. We'll eventually have to replace this, but this will do for now. Uh, so that can go there. We can just plug this in immediately. And then we'll just need smart home. Yep, we can do that. Pretty easy. And then someone's going to need to come up here to do all of this. It's going to be annoying. We do still need to do the wire first, so let's speed through it. We're definitely getting this done today. We're getting the hydrogen power done today, and then we'll start doing the spawn tomorrow, because I still need to decide where to do it. Actually, it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be Friday. Oh, we did these tiles as well. Nice. So now you can do that, and then this. And we can remove these ladders. You can do, do this one as well. Everyone's still asleep. That's a good sign. Hmm. This is all mostly polluted oxygen now. That's kind of funny. The hydrogen isn't being forced up here, is it? Maybe it is. This 
This area is very high pressure. I wonder whether there's some kind of capillary effect going on here. Or it's just naturally pushing it through with off-gassing. That would be very weird. <laughs> Pull the afar. Yep, mealwoods are going alright. I'm not going to worry too much about the mealwoods. That is Leofar's job. Right, wire, what's up? Okay, this isn't done, so you need to dig this. And this, probably. Then this needs to go as well. Oh no, you can reach all of this. Yeah, oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> Just cancelled the wire. Yeah, that's very helpful. Good job. Good job. Right, uh, now we have automation. Excellent. So that can just go here. And go here. Yeah, that could be priority 8. Oh, hold on. The Snow Fox is doing the thing. We are activating the teleporter. And you, you, you activate the teleporter by uh, rubbing your hand very hygienically all over this little trackpad button. So this is finding the other planet. I love the expression. It's just such a derpy expression, especially with the with the funny hat. <laughs> we did it! There you go. That's not going to be relevant quite yet. It'll be relevant soon. And we'll end this. We'll end this stream by going to the other asteroid, and we'll thaw the frozen friend on Friday. That's very illustrative. All right, smart battery is done. That's good. Uh, we'll set this to low threshold 10, high threshold 90, just to make sure that if it does go over, it's not wasting any power. And then once this is plugged in, we can actually just get that done. So let's speed it up again. I think we can just speed 3 again, to be honest. Yep, you're grabbing more water. This is fine. Um, if I find any CO2 pockets... Yeah, I should actually release them so that we've got more stuff for our oxyferns to work with. I should probably actually come up here and release this CO2. Not a huge priority, but possibly a priority. Uh, so let's see, how do we do that? I think we just do this, and then we just dig up here. Yeah, that seems fine. And that will eventually make its way down. And then we can explore up here too. But that's not a super high priority. Yep, wire is all done. Oh, there we go. We got another achievement. I presume this is um, the automation one. Yep, red light, green light. There we go. Easy clap. Uh, right, so this is plugged in now. So now I can actually attach the wire. And then you do need to build the rest of the wire. What's in the pod? Uh, no, no map readers, so a shine nymph it is. That will help with the research, I'm sure. I think I'm just going to analyze this when it goes dormant. What's the temperature like down here now? It's going to get much hotter now that it's completely insulated. That's fine. Because all this stuff's going to be cold. But I should get you guys like a recreation room or something. Actually, it's just Leofar. I think Leofar may be the only one going in the room. Oh, morale's not particularly high either. That doesn't help. Right, Snow Fox, what do you want? I'm just going to give you hard digging. I feel like having super hard digging and then not having hard digging is going to be kind of awkward. You're fine. Yeah, there you go. You're not too bad. I think I am going to shut this door again, though. We're almost out of algae again. It's not ideal. This seems to be working fine. 
these are actually these are pretty much all running continuously maybe not like oh yeah they're not running super continuously but they're grabbing the bits as they come out it's certainly helping and that's all i want at the moment all right speed three again I love the I love the pip club here. I don't know why they're all congregating in this area. I just find it very funny. Oh, it's because you keep digging all these sodding mealwoods. Well, I don't actually care about that. They are actually growing, so we'll just leave them there. We've got enough seeds now. <laughs> they're misbehaving. What are you doing? Oh, you're analyzing the geyser. Oh, that's funny. Well, you should manage to do that. I think. Race against time. Ah, oh, you didn't quite make it. I'm sure that's helping the stress. But it is pretty much just Leofar who's stressing out. Leofar needs to get themselves some surf and turf. Oh, we're done. Excellent. So this is going to go dormant in 20 cycles. Nice. Very nice. And you know what? Let's dig this out too. This looks like a really nice geyser. Right, the wire continues. Uh, this is not super important, but only one of you is doing that at a time, so that's fine. There you go. Let some more liquid flow down here. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> you can dig this too, maybe. The CO2 is holding back all the liquid. Amazing. Miracle of physics. Alright, the wire's coming up here. And then once that's done, we'll let everyone in to do this. Actually, everyone's already allowed in, but they're just not doing it yet. That's fine. It's meal ice time. Very nice. What are you doing? Oh, I guess you're allowed to do that. But why are you going to disinfect the storage bin? Is there a germy seed in here? There is. Well, okay. <laughs> Whatever. This has ended up kind of weird. I'm not going to worry about this for now. We just need to get stuff working and then we'll start fussing over the base. At least we have got a little bit of oxygen to work with. Yeah, I think this is going all right. Oh, you're grabbing the rest of the algae. Oh, that's okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's the rest of the wire. That's good. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's actually turn that off. And then... I'm very tempted to just yellow alert this and get this all done in one go. See how much of this you actually build, though. Because it's not like you're going to get scolded. You know, I think I am going to make that sublimation station thing uh, again on this run. Because we're going to have a lot of ethanol distillers. And we're going to produce a lot of polluted dirt. So that seems like the perfect case to build the sublimation station. And then I'll probably do a, um, a sandbox showcase video on that. Because I'm really happy with how that build went on flip farters. But we just had nowhere near the polluted dirt to actually use it effectively. Which I just found really funny. Food poisoning? Eating a germ-covered meal ice? It's certainly possible. Uh, there's still a few germs in here. These germs will die off, interestingly. What's happened? Oh, they got better. <laughs> they got better, yes. Easy. That's why we have the curative tablet. That's why we printed that a while ago.
yeah just continue doing this stuff for now yeah get that finished just in case we get more dupes we're definitely gonna get an extra dupe by the end of this stream or by the start of next stream so might as well get some more mealwoods ready we're never gonna run out of dirt on this map it's practically not possible So can you actually reach all of this? Yes, it's priority six. So I think now you're doing it. We'll probably go to... Actually, if we're speed three, it, we might even get to cycle 50 today. That would be good. <laughs> this ice is all still trying to melt. There's all this cool steam water here, but that's way too hot for us to feed to the oxy ferns. Oh, wait. We should set up the electrolyzer here because that's where the cool steam vent is. Because I'm probably going to want to feed this to plants. At least initially. I need to have a think. But I think it makes sense setting up the electrolyzer next to the hot water source. And then we sieve this and send this to the oxyferns. And use that for base stuff. Hmm. Right, that's all done. Uh, I'm going to wait one more cycle and then we'll just get everyone to bum rush in here. <laughs> Release the CO2. Very, very, very slowly. You can do the same over here, actually. Wow, that is a lot of salt water. I guess they weren't lying when they said it was a subsurface ocean. Um, it's okay. You can dig through here as well. Let's see. You can just do it like this. Oh, wait. Actually, I've got a better idea. Come over here. And then you can go... Like this. Yeah, there you go. Then we'll grab all that CO2 as well. Who's idle? You guys are idle. Uh, we can do some more research. But I'll cancel it tomorrow so that everyone gets uh, involved. What else do we want? What else do we want? I mean, we're always going to want ranching. We're not going to finish it now, but we'll just get people to work on that for the rest of the day. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'll cancel that then. <laughs> Whatever. Wow, look how look how high the oxygen pressure has ended up over here. Because the oxygen keep producing and it keeps getting shoved over here, but it's not actually going back anywhere. I should um I should probably actually just dig this out then. Let some more of this oxygen back over here. I would do it this way as well. And you can dig... You can dig this out. Let the CO2 out that way. Because we got, we got like 5 kilograms of CO2 in here. Silly. All the CO2 in the map needs to go here. Sirtle has a skill point. Let's see. Uh, that is farming too, I believe. Here you go. Enjoy your lack of farming hat, because we're all going to have digging hats. I don't know. Maybe we'll change it later. I think, I think for now we're just going to give everyone all digging hats. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Priority nine. Get this all done. And you're allowed to go in here. You're not allowed to go in here. So it's all igneous rock. You should have plenty of igneous rock. So let's just watch everyone get this done. And this will probably be the thumbnail, although it's not a very interesting thumbnail. Well, we'll see. It's nice actually making use of a hydrogen vent though, because we had a hydrogen vent on the last on the last run, and we just didn't actually use it at all because we just had all the coal. 
Yeah, so I'd prefer if you built this so you didn't get sopping wet. Now, this shouldn't pump right away. We just need to be a little bit careful with the pliers tool just to make sure we fill this up with a tiny bit of hydrogen. But you should get this done pretty quickly. I can speed through this. Wow, you got hypothermia and you're still going for it. Nice. Oh, you gotta get some metal? Yeah, fair enough. And then I think we actually sweep this out. Okay, and this is set to 0.1 grams per second. We do not want a lot of gas flowing through here. <laughs> Poor Neo. <laughs> Well, you guys don't have to deal with this uh, extremely cold hydrogen for much longer. Right. Okay, hold on. Right. So that's pumping into here. That's fine. So let's let it into here first. Has this actually been done? Yes. Okay. So we want to fill this up with a little bit of hydrogen. So that's a blob of hydrogen. I can go in here. That is now circulating with hydrogen. And now I can disconnect that. Or now I can reconnect that. And now the hydrogen's going in here. The excess hydrogen is getting pumped out here. Why? Oh, because this is just full. I see. Okay. Well, for now, you can just go back in here. This should eventually come out of the right flow rate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now it's flowing through properly, so now we can reconnect this. Okay, good. There we go. So, in case you don't know, this is a powerless, or a very low power. Actually, is it powerless? Yeah, yeah, this is completely powerless. It's a powerless gas filter. And what we're doing is we're filtering it mechanically instead of with power. So, because this loop where the valve is flowing into itself is full of hydrogen, even though it's a very small amount because of the valve, uh, no other gases can get in because there's no empty space for the, hydro for the other gases to go on this pipe. So if hydrogen comes in, it will it will fill this up to the maximum capacity of hydrogen. In this case, it's 500.1 grams, and that and the 500 grams will come out here. Um, but if it's not hydrogen, it will go through this pipe instead because it won't be able to go onto this bridge because that bridge is trying to load directly onto the pipe. And that's how this works. So now we're not going to have to worry about any random gases because they'll just end up in here. And this is better than, well... This is an alternative to using the gas filter, uh, filter building, which we haven't unlocked. Because that uh, takes 120 watts to run. So you really don't want to run that unless you absolutely have to. That's going in here. This battery is still full. Right, so now I can actually just disable this, can't I? And then we should be done. Cool, so we actually have power. Yes, yeah, so as soon as that drains, it should start pumping again. Yeah. Yeah, so disable that. Yeah, that's drained now, so now this is running. You can see all the hydrogen slipping and sliding around in there. Like nobody's business. This does generate a little bit of heat. But it's not a lot, realistically. We're going to dump it into, like, the whole asteroid, so this area isn't going to heat up too much. And there we go. Cheap, sustainable power. And it will take forever for this hydrogen vent to just heat all of this ice up. And we'll know whether it's getting hot because it'll start melting. So it's good. And what we could even do is we could actually run this cold hydrogen pipe through something to cool it down. 
Um, it's probably having a bit of a cooling effect in here overall because this pipe isn't insulated. So that's fine. Right, that's good. We have power. So now let's see. What do we do? I think I can just deconstruct all of this. We don't need that anymore. I don't think this is ever going to stop running. So we're not going to consume that much hydrogen. I'm going to wait until exosuits before we analyze that. So now I believe the next thing to do is set up a pump for polluted water. Sieve that and feed that through oxyphones. Well, the question is, I want to do that while melting all this ice. It's probably going to take a while to do that. Hmm. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe we just desalinate this instead. We've got enough power. We need to use this at some point. Let's actually get let's actually get the desalinator. I don't use this enough. So this building removes salt and brine uh, from salt water to produce water. If we actually have a look at it over here <laughs> among us, um, desalinator. So it takes 480 watts, but it converts five kilograms per second of salt water or brine into the respective amounts of water and salt. You do have to periodically empty it, and it does produce a lot of heat. That's fine. So, let's see. What else we got? Coal? I don't think we're going for coal. Let's go with another fungal spore. We do have a fair bit of coal now, but I'm kind of determined to get super sustainable for a change. Where is the achievement? It's up here. Yeah. So, so far we've generated two kilojoules, or two megajoules, out of... 240 megajoules. That's fine. And to be honest, there's so much hydrogen stored up here. We could, we could easily run another hydrogen generator. We could even have that on a separate wire. Yeah, we could even have that on a separate wire and just have the desalinator. You know, I think we do that. There's so much water over here. So what we could do is... This hydrogen is just going to rise up here, so I'm not worried about that. We can dig this out. And then... We can come over here. Some salt water is going to come down here. No, there's a smarter way of doing it than that. This isn't high pressure, so we can just come in here like this. And then we can dig down here. You guys do not have a lot of oxygen, though. Speed up again. But this should definitely give us all the water we need for the oxyferns. So I think we do that for now. And to be honest, I think we dump it down here until all the CO2 comes up here. I think that's what we do. Yeah, we'll do we'll do this for another half hour. We'll get this desalinator set up. I might even just hook it up in its own separate wire for now, because it does take a lot of power. And then we can set up the pump on a separate wire too. Yeah, so let's put another one. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we venting all this hydrogen? Ah, I see. I see. This is backed up and stopped running, so now all the hydrogen is going out the overflow. Right. That is one reason not to use this, because <laughs> it doesn't shut itself off. Uh, 
<laughs> yes, the Afar has realized this. Uh, it's alright, it's just a little hydrogen. It's not hot hydrogen, which is the important part. A little bit of hydrogen is fine, that'll just push all the oxygen down here. I guess the rest of this we shove... Yes, I think what we do is we put a bridge here. Not on the insulated bit, though. We put a bridge there. Separate that. It's fine, Dragoon. <laughs> yeah. And then what we do is we just dump it back in here. No, that's not what we want, because then it's going to be pumping continuously. I think what we do is we set a hydrogen sensor here. Can we get like the gas element sensor? And then just... And then if it detects hydrogen here, it just shuts off the pump. I think maybe that's what we do. Uh, in any case, I'm going to just turn that off for now. <laughs> Our perfect gas containment method is perfect. There's a little bit of regular water in here. So let's just take the liquid pump, put that in there. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. It probably is gonna be to dig down here to the sandstone. This is gonna this is gonna do something though. Hmm. What do I do? I think I actually just dump it here. That's a lot. Actually, we don't need to dig all this abyss. Like, what are we doing? Hello, Will Rule. How's the colony going? It's going better now that we've actually got some reliable power. Um, I set up a powerless filter over here for this hydrogen, and I forgot that if this backs up, it does just, like, vent the gas that you want where you don't want it to go. Um, so we're going to set up a sensor on this. But for now it's fine. For now it's fine. So we've got power. Um, we have some ox ferns down here. I just want to fill this up with water. We've got a load of salt water up here and I want to use that. Oh, we'll need to actually... We'll actually need to tile this as well. In fact, just remove this for now. Cancel that. Do an element sensor, not, not gate and vent. Yes, that's correct. If it detects hydrogen, it just vents it in the room. Well, it won't vent in here because it's too high pressure. Um, we'll need to vent it somewhere where it's not going to... We need like a tricked vent to do that. You know, I think you might have to draw me a little diagram, Leofar. Will is fine. Alright, that's good. Yeah, come in here and dig this. Maybe we just pump this for now, because it's just right here. We need to make it somewhere you can actually reach. What was that research? Um, electrolyzer. Makes sense. You know what? I think I'm going to wrap it up after this cycle because I'm out of ideas. <laughs> we'll come back to this on Friday. Not sure exactly what next to prioritize. But I think desalinating it is a strong idea. I kind of want this to keep... Oh no, look, we got the trap Draco. Feels, <laughs> feels bad, man, Draco. Can we come rescue you? I feel like we can. If we come in here and just start digging this out. James just got watching. The VOD will be on YouTube. I will upload the VODs to YouTube. Um, 
There's a few things coming first, but this, yeah, this will come out in a few days. YouTube. But what we did basically is we heat sealed this hydrogen vent and all the hydrogen is rising up here and now we have a pump that can pump it. So, oh wow, <laughs> Nightbot has done a double whammy. This, that hasn't happened in a while. But yeah, we got some hydrogen, we can power this. Um, the overflow vent is not currently working, but I'll fix that another time. We're not actually consuming that much hydrogen, so that's fine. Yeah, I can go there. And to be honest, like the gas situation here is pretty good. There's not many other gases in here now. The hydrogen is too high pressure for any polluted water to offense, so maybe we can just not have the filter run for now. And then we'll fix it uh, before next stream. Yeah, so now you can access that. You can dig that as well, and then we can get in here. You will need some oxygen. Uh, so this looks like a good task for an oxygen mask. But to do that, we need an oxygen pump. So at that point, we should probably just actually make the spawn. I mean, what's the gas situation over here? It's actually pretty good. There's a nice clean pocket of oxygen here. Sent a GIF? Okay, I'll look at that. I'll look at that and we'll do that next stream. I think now, I think now is the time. Leofar, you're going to go and have a look at the other asteroid. Actually, does that make sense? Yeah, because you're going to teleport out again immediately. Yeah, you can go through. You're right here already. And then we'll see who the frozen friend is uh, at the start of the next stream. <laughs> oh no, we've locked him in. He's locked in. We can suffocate him as we desire. All right, there you go, Leofar. Enjoy. We're now on a Viscosito. Not to be confused with Despacito. So here's our frozen friend. Now we're going to load him up between streams to make sure that he's a mouth breather. Uh, but first things first, let's actually just get a toilet. Yeah, open up the uh, oxalite as well. See, this asteroid is way nice. Look at all the algae. You've got like a load of water down here. This is going to be hatch central. So let's see. I think... Honestly, what we're going to do is we're just going to set up... I think we're just going to dig this out immediately, and then we'll just set up the bathroom here. Oh, you're already hungry. Well, you do at least have some food. But we'll want to set up the outhouse, and then a sink. And then you'll need some water. The water is not actually nearby, is it? <laughs> hmm... I think Leofar may be peeing themselves. It's possible. Oh, your bladder is already at 100%? Well, that's fantastic. We I mean, definitely just prioritize the outhouse. Yeah, get that done. Is this an attempt to shame you? Yes, absolutely. No. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. You'll just have a few germs on you. Oh, God. Is he going to make it in time? The race. The eternal race. The stakes have never been higher. You're going to do it before night time? Got to add dirt too, yep. Yeah. Uh, is there dirt? Is there any dirt? Did we dig up any dirt? <laughs> um, there's dirt over here. Uh, there's dirt here. Yep, you can dig that. Have some dirt. Oh my god, is he going to do it? Or is he going to pee himself on the outhouse? No, there he is. He did it! Yes! Try to remember to check the schedule before sending him over so they don't immediately piss themselves asleep. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. That's definitely the uh, reasonable thing to do. But 
I thought it was funny to see if he could make it on time. And now he can fall asleep next to the outhouse. Well, that's fine. Alrighty, there we go. So, that is going to be the end of this stream. Next stream for Oni will be on Friday. We'll open up the flip faster and we'll get a mouth breather. And then we'll send the FR back. And the mouth breather can hang out here for a little bit. And then... And then we'll get the spawn working. That's definitely the next thing. Get the spawn working. Preferably from the hot steam water. Because... This isn't insulated at all. This will this will stay non-scalding for quite some time. Uh, salt water up here, desalinating that as well is a good idea. The, the thing about this is we're just limited by the amount of oxyferns seeds we have. We'd rather do oxyferns if we could, but we just don't have enough seeds. Because we basically need seven oxyferns per mouth breather. So the spawn is sadly needed. It'll be alright. So on that note, let me save it and we'll go find someone to raid. We're gonna raid. And let me play my music too. Right, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. It's been very nice having you all to watch me play Oxygen Not Included and make people pee themselves, except not quite. <laughs> if you're still here from Treble Queen's raid uh, from earlier, thanks very much for sticking around. I do appreciate it. I'm glad we've got lots of names on these dupes. These mouth breathers deserve some attention <laughs> and perhaps some careful supervision. But uh, we'll be back on Friday. So um, if you like what you've seen, feel free to leave a follow and you'll get a notification when I go live with what I'm doing. I mostly play Oxygen Not Included, but I do occasionally play other games. Mega Aquarium is on the horizon. When the new Deep Freeze DLC comes out for that, that's going to be my new series. And I might even do that on Wednesdays because my work schedule is changing and I'm actually going to be booking Wednesdays off from November till Christmas. So there may be a Wednesday stream and that probably will be a variety stream. But probably Mega Aquarium, maybe Rimworld, maybe something else. I don't know yet. I'll put a poll up on YouTube and Discord. But yeah, mo um, Monday, Tuesdays is Oni. Fridays is usually Oni. Could be something else. Uh, if you miss a stream, all the VODs are on YouTube. As well as discussion and meme videos. There's some nice tier lists on there. For option included. And there is a Discord where we all hang out and post builds and memes. And I'm going to go look at the EFR's filter thing. And we'll build that first thing uh, on Friday's stream as well. Um, just because my brain has kind of farted on that tonight. But that's all right. Right, okay, let's go raid someone. Who is around? Hmm. Oh, Sushi Queen's on. I haven't raided Sushi Queen in ages. Let's go to space in a steam engine. Looks like they're... Looks like they're... Oh, are they wrapping up? Hmm. Well, I've got an ad at the moment, so I'm not sure if they're wrapping up or not. Stupid ads. <laughs> so, it, so brief diatribe on ads. Um, I haven't got the uh, mid-roll ads enabled. I don't really think that's a good idea for me. Like, I'd just rather people be able to watch a stream and enjoy it. Like, so, at the moment, I've just got the pre-roll ads, and that's it. Let's review the GIF. We can review the GIF. Hmm. Yeah, let's go review the GIF. So, buh, 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 buh. where is it? Here's the... Hold on. Here's the liquid pool that Sertor needs to get rid of. Very nice. Nice amount of oil you got going there. And here's, here's Leofar's GIF. Ooh, this looks organized. That didn't open. Well, oh, there we go. Discord is now working. I see. So it circulates here with the bridges. Okay. The only issue is the top one. Ah, I see. So the only issue with this is it's a gas, and the gas vent is going to overpressurize. So... We'd have to do a high pressure vent for that, or trick event. And I think we'll have to trick event. I think that's probably what we'll do. 
yeah, we'll figure that out on Friday. Instead of dropping detective material, use a knot gate to keep it in the pipe. Fair enough. Right. I think we're going to go raid uh, Sushi Queen. I think Sushi Queen is still going. Right. Because I want to say hi too. Already. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. Oh, she has actually wrapped up. Oh, right. Okay. Um, I'm just going to raid Neosa then. Neosa is currently playing some Splunky too. No, I raided the iPixel like a few like last stream. I'm not going to raid him like two streams in a row. I'm going to go raid Neosa and you can go watch some Splunky too if you feel like it. You have a friend who started called Borks. All right, let's have a look at this guy then. Sorry, we're going on a massive tangent. Let's see what Borks is up to. At the moment, I'm currently seeing a raccoon by a fireplace. Are they definitely? Are they definitely doing? He's doing a deflector farm. What does that mean? What is a deflector farm? It's got a fantastic voice. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna go. Do you know? Do you know what he's playing tonight? Is um. Hopefully he's playing oxygen included. Oh, whatever. We're just going to go raid him anyways. What? Instead of doing... Instead of doing things with subs to his channel, he does things when you sub to a specific friend. I think it's party games. Okay, we'll go raid Borks. Let's go say hi to Borks. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. And I'll be back on Friday. <laughs> Platy. Platy is in a very silly position. Excellent. All right. I need to get some sleep, clearly. Bye.